The Escondido Union School District is facing a lawsuit from teachers regarding the privacy of transgender students. And they claim the current policy violates free speech. And Fox 5's Jason Sloss has the details. Two teachers at Rincon Middle School are suing the Escondido Union School District and the State Board of Education over gender identity privacy policy. According to state and district guidelines, a transgender student's identity must be kept private, even from parents, unless the student says otherwise. It forces them to, to lie to parents and to deceive parents and to participate in a student social transition. Local attorney Paul Jonah is representing the teachers who have taught at the school for more than 20 years. According to the lawsuit, policy requires teachers to refer to students by preferred names and pronouns at school while reverting to biological pronouns and legal names when speaking with the student's parents. Experts on both sides of the spectrum agree that when you're dealing with a child that has gender dysphoria, the solution is not to leave the parents out of the picture. And the solution is not to leave the parents in the dark. These children need love, care, and attention, and the school and the state have no business presuming that parents will be unsupportive or that parents will be harmful or abusive. Education officials say it's a policy that's there to protect transgender students. I think it puts teachers in a difficult position for sure. Carrie Crittenden is a parent of a Rincon Middle School student. As a parent, I would hope that my child would come to me first with that information and for the teachers I think it puts them in an awkward position if they need to speak to a child one way and then respond to a parent in another. The Escondido Union School District Superintendent released a statement saying the district is committed to providing a safe and positive environment that enables our students to learn and actualize their unlimited potential and that empowers our teachers to excel as educators. As part of that commitment to student learning, the district observes all federal and state laws. They were very reluctant to file it, but um, they had no choice. At, th at that point, the school made it clear you either you either follow this policy or your job is at stake and, and so that's why we filed the case. According to the lawsuit, the teachers asked the district for an exemption to the policy based on moral and religious convictions, but were denied. In Escondido, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.